Typical results when receiving a WPL model. Alright, so this here is the new C24 kit. First thing I noticed with this kit is these big hoops. I don't know what this is for. I guess this is for the new, the new design axles. These actually look like the original regular style. I thought they were supposed to be changing these up a little bit. That's what I was expecting. And I'm going to show you, I don't know if this is from a different brand, but it said WPL. And you see how it has these ends on there it's a lot sturdier of an axle and it uh, keeps these ends from splitting see the original WPL axles tend to split right here and I've seen a lot of people put like bands or straps trying to keep it together and this is a much better design but it does come with the brass gear upgrade which is in a very important upgrade these trucks pretty much don't go anywhere without those upgrades for the axles. The axles are no good. So that is a well welcomed upgrade. And I have the new gearbox, you can see it down in there. And that's supposed to be slightly more reduced gear, a little bit more torque in that gearbox. The original gearbox was all black matching these shafts. And this is supposed to be the upgraded one. Just so supposed to have a little bit more gear reduction, a little bit more torque for crawling. And there's the uh, servo. I've had my servos all sunk, submerged many times, and they've still done pretty well. So those are the only changes. They uh, upgraded the axle and the gearbox, it looks like. So uh, got a regular, regular body for it. There's nothing special, nothing different about the body. Got the snorkel and everything. I've already got frame rails ready to go, painted up. It looks like these frame rails have a little bit more of a fine, polished finish on them. But uh, I've got my frame rails all ready to go. But please subscribe, hit me up. I'm going to be doing a brushless build on this truck with this 2430 7200 kV 25 amp brushless setup. So hit me up in the comments. Till next time, deuces.